Hi there everybody and welcome back to my channel. This time I'm going to give you all the equations and the mechanism that you're going to need for the nitration of benzene. Before the reaction equations or the mechanism, we need to discuss the reaction conditions. The reaction needs to be done at a temperature of less than 55 degrees C, so I typically go for 50. We need to use concentrated nitric acid and we also need to use concentrated H2SO4 which will act as our catalyst. In this example I am going to keep it quite simple. We're going to just react benzene, although you can use any substance with an aromatic ring, with the concentrated nitric acid. Just don't put concentrated in the reaction equation. The H2SO4 is a catalyst, that's why it's not appearing as a reactant in this overall equation. And our product is going to be nitrobenzene. It's essentially the same structure as what we started with, but now it's got an NO2 group positioned somewhere around the ring. The other product we make is H2O. Just to reiterate a point I made a moment ago as well, the concentrated H2SO4 that I've mentioned in the reaction conditions is not shown in the overall equation because it's the catalyst. And I'm gonna show how it gets reformed in the equations as well. Benzene is resistant to addition reactions. Instead, it undergoes substitution reactions. If benzene did undergo an addition reaction, then some of those delocalized electrons in the delocalized pi system would need to be used to form covalent bonds with incoming atoms or groups. By doing a substitution reaction, the benzene can maintain its delocalized pi system. Therefore, when we react benzene with an electrophile, we're gonna use a cation, a fully positive charged electrophile, so that therefore the benzene can undergo substitution and not lose that delocalized pi system. So here in this equation, we see nitric acid react with sulfuric acid to produce water, HSO4 minus, and the nitronium ion, NO2 plus, which is our electrophile in the nitration of benzene. The electrophilic substitution mechanism is outlined in two stages. First off, the NO2 plus electrophile attacks the delocalized pi system. We represent this by showing a curly arrow from the ring right up to the nitrogen on the NO2 plus. You can position the positive charge on the electrophile here, either directly on the nitrogen or just towards the top right hand corner of the structure, although it is preferred on the nitrogen. Moving on to stage two, and we have generated an unstable intermediate. One of the carbon atoms is now shown as being in four sigma bonds, and the delocalized pi system is broken. To represent this, instead of the usual circle, we're now going to use a goblet or a horseshoe style shape, which is expected to cover at least four of the six sides of the benzene ring structure. I'm going to use a blue line here to demonstrate this level of precision for you. The unstable intermediate also has a positive charge tucked into the core of the structure. To restore the delocalized pi system, an H plus ion is removed by the HSO4 minus, which we saw formed when we were generating the NO2 plus electrophile, and a curly arrow shows the movement of an electron pair towards the positive charge at the core of our unstable intermediate. We don't need to show the HSO4 minus as a part of the mechanism. The product is a nitrobenzene, where there once was a hydrogen on our benzene structure at the very start of all of this, there is now an NO2 group, and alongside this, we demonstrate the formation of an H plus ion. In our final stage, we're going to demonstrate the regeneration or reforming our catalyst, the H2SO4 from before. Here we demonstrate what I actually described in the second stage of the mechanism. The HSO4- minus is going to react with the H plus ion and it's going to regenerate that H2SO4 catalyst in the equation. I 
hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please give it a like before you go if you did, and there are links on screen now to more videos relating to organic chemistry. Until next time, happy revising.